Good morning. It's Monday again and week four of my marathon prep. And today I'm very tired, but there are no excuses here. So I have to get up, get out on my run anyway. So today I only have a six and a half kilometer training run, thankfully. So it's nothing too hard. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. So I made it back for my run. And I was supposed to do six and a half kilometers, but I ended up at seven. So next time I need to turn back a bit earlier. But I had a good pace because I didn't push myself. I just ran like very comfortably and I still held a good pace. So I think I did 6.15 per kilometer, including the big hill at the end so I'm very happy so I'm back from my run and I have taken a shower and I'm just about to head out to work uh, so this is also day one on my keto diet uh, I'm very nervous about this but this is what I'm bringing to work so for breakfast I'm having some overnight oats it's not really oats it's uh, uh, flax seeds and chia seeds instead uh, so and uh, yeah, so that's going to be interesting to try. And then some ham. And then for lunch, I'm having ground beef, uh, some carrots and zucchini, and then some avocado to go with that. So now I need to hurry to get to work. Uh, so I will uh, talk to you more uh, later. I am back home from work now, and this has been my first day on keto. So far, I'm feeling good. Uh, I think I'm uh, like over analyzing every feeling I'm having in my body, thinking uh, it's because I'm on keto. Only like it's only been like a few hours. Like the last carbs I had were yesterday evening around like 10 o'clock. So it's it hasn't been that long. So it's it's nothing like super abnormal. But um, I'm so scared of getting the the keto flu. So uh, I'm I'm over analyzing, but. Uh, it's been fine uh, and in terms of being satiated and like not feeling like ravenous at work it's I've I've felt like good like I think better than usual even though I haven't had any snacks I had my breakfast at work around 10 o'clock and then I had my lunch around two o'clock and that's it and I had some coffee uh, and some like water to drink and stuff, but otherwise nothing. And that's a miracle because I like used to snack like every hour before. So uh, that's that's a big positive because that's m sort of my main reason for do doing keto. And after that big breakfast I had, uh, I I wasn't that hungry until lunch, and I also found it easier not to think about food, which I used to do constantly before. I think it's because I know that I'm not getting any snacks, no matter what, even if it's apples or anything other, anything else like healthy, it's still off limits, no snacking. So it really like took my mind off it, which was super nice. So yeah, now I'm going to have my dinner. It's like 7.30 or something. So again, I'm having, uh, what am I having? I'm having some avocado and then I'm having some ground beef, zucchini and carrots. And then I also bought like these electrolytes uh, during lunch today. So I'm going to ha have a drink with electrolytes. Like I said, I'm very scared of getting the keto flu. So I'm making sure to put like too much salt on my food and then sort of also adding this stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to help, but I like I, I don't like... I don't want to take my chances. If this can help, then that's great. Uh, I'm also going to order some magnesium and some vitamin D because uh, I've heard that that's really important when on keto, and that like that's actually something that it, like is useful to su to supplement. So I'm going to do that as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to uh, cook my food. I'm going to drink this, and then I'm also going to drink some tea with apple cider vinegar, which I also heard is very good uh, when you're on keto. So I'm trying to like follow the advice that I can find. Like, like I said, I have no idea if it's working or if it's helpful, but 
I'm, I'm going to try things and then I'm going to stick to whatever I like and whatever I feel is, is helpful. So yeah, uh, I'm going to cook now and uh, then later I'm going to foam roll because uh, I ran this morning and I have my run tomorrow. So I really need to stretch out my muscles. Now I'm just preparing a apple cider vinegar drink that I found online that's supposed to be good for uh, for keto. So uh, it's I've heated a mug of water. I'm gonna add uh, some tea. Uh, it should be chamomile tea, which I don't have at the moment, and I don't want to go and buy new like new tea bags when I have old ones at home. So I'm using whatever Lipton tea I have here, and then some apple cider vinegar, and then uh, just a little bit of sweetener, and then some uh, cinnamon. So I'm going to try this for the first time. Uh, it doesn't sound very appealing to me, but uh, I'm going to give it a try and try to get it down as fast as possible. I have started to uh, drink my concoction <laughs> and it doesn't taste very nice at all. Uh, <laughs> which I didn't think it would, but uh, like it's it's doable. So I'm going to force myself to, to finish this uh, before my dinner. And then I'm, yeah, I'm going to reward myself with, uh, with dinner and maybe a glass of Diet Coke. So I'm finally done cooking and I'm going to eat my mountain of ground beef now and drink my electrolytes and uh, like take it slow before going to bed. Good morning, it's day two of week four of my marathon prep and this morning I am super 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 tired and I have a splitting headache because I slept horribly. Uh, it was really windy uh, last evening, last night, so it was so loud and I kept waking up like every 30 minutes, 20 minutes, like oh, I... It was a long time, long time since I slept so so badly. Usually I'm a great sleeper, so when I don't get to sleep, I I don't feel too good. So thankfully it's only six and a half kilometers today. I am thanking the universe for that, because I think that like just getting to work today will be like a struggle. So uh, yeah, let's let's set out so we can come home again. So I made it despite the hard wind and despite being super super tired this was a really hard race or not race but run so here are my eggs that i cooked up so i used like 230 grams of eggs and um, yolk and white and then i added some shredded mozzarella uh, yeah it's really really tasty good evening it's now tuesday evening and today has been a long and hard day. Uh, like I said this morning, I slept awfully. And then I had six and a half K to run this morning. It was super windy. I was super tired. Uh, it was my second day of keto, uh, which I don't really think had too much of an impact. Uh, like at the end of my runs, I usually have a very steep hill and I did today as well. And um, it felt the same as when I was like doing the flat bit, so yeah. So I don't think it was really the keto that uh, made me tired. It was the lack of sleep and the strong winds. <laughs> so yeah, that was this morning, uh, and then I've been to work, and then I came home and did a lot of cooking. Uh, since I sort of like quite spontaneously decided to do keto i didn't have too much time to prepare meals beforehand so like all my time like after work has been spent like cooking and cleaning up after cooking so yeah and this evening i had eggs with mozzarella which was really really good so now i'm going to foam roll and then go to bed pretty much and then tomorrow i have a 10k run so hopefully I will sleep a lot better this this night because I will need uh, my energy in the morning. Uh, so uh, yeah, good evening and uh, see you bright and early tomorrow for for a 10k. So it's now Wednesday morning and this morning I have uh, 10 kilometers to run. Uh, it's only a training run, so 
uh, a pretty low tempo. Uh, today, last night, I slept much better than the night before. So uh, I'm feeling ready to do this. Uh, still a bit tired, but uh, I think it will be uh, fine. So uh, yeah, let's head out. Good evening. I don't think I had any time this morning to uh, film anything after my run uh, because I had to get to work. But I finished uh, my 10k run today and I had more energy because I slept much better this last night than the night before. So <laughs> that was great. Um, and yeah, today was my third day on keto and uh, I think I can feel it when I'm running. Uh, like in the beginning, I feel very like tired, like I have a headache. Like like today I was supposed to do 10K and after like 1K, I, I felt like, oh, oh my God, how am I going to finish this? Like I have no energy, this is, this is impossible. But then sort of four or five kilometers in, I felt really good. I felt like I had more energy, uh, so so yeah, I think it's I think it's a matter of uh, adapting to like this new way of, of eating and fueling. And like only day 3 on keto is very early. It takes a while to adapt to this and I am expecting it to impact my run, but so far it hasn't been that bad. Like it's bad in the beginning, but then uh I get into it and it's it's working, I feel like. Uh so that was that was good. Uh I kept up the, I kept up the pace pretty well and um, so yeah and overall on keto i'm i'm feeling really good i'm not thinking about snacking constantly which i did pre like before all like all day i just like thought about eating and snacking and now that like that's not an option for me uh, like it's completely out of my mind it's really amazing and i also feel like I'm like being kept full on more fat and more protein. Uh, like now for breakfast, I eat like an like keto oatmeal. It's not oatmeal, it's other stuff. But in there I have like whole cream, like 30% fat cream, something I would never use before. Uh, but it, like it keeps me re really, really full. So uh, it's, be it's been great. Uh, so far I'm, I'm really liking it actually. Uh, I do, and like I, before I used to bloat, like when I got off work, I was super, super bloated. Uh, and now, like, even now in the evening, my, my stomach is, is, is flat. So I do think that my, my body is lacking it too. So yeah, that's the update on that for, for now. Uh, so I, I haven't eaten anything yet. I am going to have my electrolytes. Yeah, I'm very like, uh, I'm sticking to drinking that, even though they taste horrible. But I, I don't want like more keto fluid than necessary. And I'm also having my tea with apple cider vinegar and stuff. Uh, so uh, like trying to keep up with the supplements. And then I did order magnesium and a vitamin D, which uh, is very like common to be deficient in. And like I went to a doctor last year, uh, like and did a proper like blood test analysis stuff. And I was... Uh, vitamin D deficient during the winter, so I prob probably am this winter too, so uh, I would probably need it even if I wasn't on keto, so that's good. And the magnesium is supposed to help with muscle soreness and like uh, sleeping better. I, al I already sleep good, but uh, like the muscle soreness I do feel sometimes, and then now when I will ramp up the mileage uh, for my training, I think it would be uh, a good thing. And so that's coming tomorrow. And yeah, this evening I am eating salmon and asparagus. Uh, I found, like I I w went to the grocery store during lunch and they had, uh, and I walked past the, the fresh salmon and it just looked so good. So I picked some up, so I'm going to eat that now. And then I also, for my runs, I bought these like uh, keto Adonis bars just because to have something on my runs, my long runs. Like, ideally I would like to not eat anything during even my long runs and teach my body to use my fat as fuel, but I'm very scared of being like two hours from home and like just feeling like like my energy is gone and I have nothing. So I just want to, to have something that to keep on me, like, and if I really feel like I need it, I can eat it. 
and I don't have to feel like any like oh I, I did poorly I did bad I I like uh, went sort of uh, non keto because they are keto friendly I think they have like two net carbs which is really good so I can I can keep them with me um, so that's that's really good I also ordered a new like fitness running watch from Garmin the one I have now uh, this one. It's, it's a Fitbit and it's uh, six years old at least and it's it's not working like I tried it against um, Runkeeper and also when I did my official 10k a few weeks ago I compared it against that like and that's properly measured time and it was way way off both on time and on the distance and everything so it just can't be trusted anymore and it probably probably wasn't that good to to start with and now it being at least six years old it's it's not working and i wanted to like try to focus being on like in zone two training uh, which i know is important for marathon training and it's just not possible with this one because i can't i can't measure my pace because it's it's not reliable uh so yeah uh and i'm i'm going to show you like more of that watching in another video when I have set it up and stuff so but I'm very excited uh, like to start to use that so yeah now I'm going to eat foam roll uh, drink my disgusting drinks <laughs> and like get it down with a glass of diet coke and then go to bed and tomorrow is uh, not a run day I will take a power walk I think an hour's power walk and then I'm, f I'm depending on the weather but Right now, my plan is to go on my long run this week on Friday, and it's a half marathon, so that will be a long one. So that's why I wanted uh, my keto bars to get here, so I could bring one, uh, just in case I need one, because like a half marathon is, is a long way to run. And like me being on this new eating schedule as well, being new to keto, maybe my energy levels are just going to plummet and I will really need something to eat. So. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for today and see you tomorrow. Good morning. Uh today is Friday and I am a bit nervous because now I'm about to head out for a half marathon run. This is the first time I've run this far uh in a non-race setting. Uh I've done two half marathons before, but both races, so yeah, I'm very nervous to to, <laughs> to do this on my own. Um, and this is the long run of my week, and I'm supposed to do it at a slow pace. So I'm really going to like like try to really keep a low pace, whatever that really means. I'm not <laughs> sure, uh, but uh, yeah, I am taking my running vest that I bought. And for the first time and I have filled up the, the, the bladder with some water to keep on my back and I will, I will also bring one of my keto bars uh, ideally I don't want to eat it but if I really feel like I need it I, I have something with me and it's got like nuts and stuff in it so I do need to bring some water to 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 get that down so that's why I'm bringing uh, water and something to eat um, so yeah uh, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit nervous, but uh, uh, I'm sure it will be fine. Uh, I also have my new watch to, to guide me. And yeah, I, I think I'll talk to you after, after I'm done uh, to see uh, what I have to say. Okay, so it's now dinner time and I made some halloumi, uh, some asparagus and spinach with some lemon on top uh, and I'm going to watch uh, a French TV show I found uh, on Netflix. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to do right now. So last time we spoke, it was Friday morning and I was just about to head out uh, for my long run of the week, which was a half marathon. And I was very nervous beforehand and yeah, afterwards I was very, very tired. I had no energy to film anything or uh, pretty much to do anything. So that's why I didn't film anything more on Friday. 
But to summarize, uh, it's the, the running itself went well overall. I could run the whole time and I could finish and I think I finished in two hours and 19 minutes or something like that, which was for me was, was fine. It's slower than the half marathon races I've done, but that's the point. I am supposed to be slower because it's only training. But despite that, I ran way too fast. I was supposed to be in zone two and three and I was mainly in four and five. I think I was in zone two for 18 seconds, according to my, my Garmin running watch. And I think I was in zone three for a total of 18 minutes. And the rest of the time I was like either in zone four or five, which is not good. Which is why probably I got so, so tired towards the end. Uh, like my running was great, up until around 15, 16 kilometers. I was very confident during my first 15K and thinking that oh, I can run like super far at this pace, this is great. Uh, but yeah, I was, I, was, I was too confident. I should have slowed down much more, which I, which I knew. Uh, I kept, kept like uh, check, I, I checked my 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 pace uh, during the, the the entire run, and I thought that if I was between like six thirty to seven minutes per kilometer, then that would be fine. And I think my average pace had been like six six minutes and thirty five seconds up until like fifteen sixteen kilometers. Uh, but that was that was too far, uh, too too fast. I should I should have been checking my my heart rate instead. But I I didn't really have like any knowledge about exactly where I should have been like when it comes to heart rate. Uh, but I did look uh, at my watch and study like the graph and and stuff afterwards. And that's when I discovered that like I had been in the wrong zone the whole time. So lesson for next time is to, to slow down and to like know like which heart rate I'm supposed to be working at and to, to, to follow that on, on my watch. And then I think uh, I will learn to, to keep the, the, the quick pace. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm super happy that I, I, I finished the run. I never, I've never ran, ran that far uh, for just training. Uh, it's always only been uh, races before. So I'm very proud of that, and yeah, I was I was I was cooked when I got home. I was I was so tired. I I don't think I've never been so tired, like both in my head and in my body. Uh, I was yeah, it was a real it was a real effort. Luckily, I I had a day off from work. It was a bank holiday in Monaco, so I could I could take it very very easily. Uh, eat and stretch and foam roll and rest and yeah so, so that was great uh, so yeah I'm, I'm very happy with that and uh, so since then that was Friday now it's Sunday I've yesterday and today I've been on power walks as my form of exercise I did not want to put any more stress on my body because next week I have four more runs to do uh, and the long run is 18 kilometers so I really wanted uh, my body to get the time to recover because it, it was a it was a hard effort uh, I could really feel that uh, so yeah so two power walks uh, an hour each that was fine I had planned to go to the gym but I thought that adding the extra stress of of strength training uh, was not a good idea I liked moving my legs uh, at a, a slow pace I felt was uh, a much better choice for this week. So hopefully next week I I want to put my body through such stress and then I can <clears throat> I have the time and uh, like and the opportunity to to go to the gym. So I wanted also to talk to you what I brought with me during my run because I was debating beforehand what I needed, uh, but in the end I decided to to bring my my running vest uh, on the on the run. I wasn't sure if I was going to need either like something to eat or water or anything, but I do think that it's a good idea for me to, to start to to get used to running uh, with something because I know that in the future I will need it 
Right now it's still very cold when I run in the mornings. It's just below, it's just about zero degrees. So like I don't sweat a ton. I like, I don't get very thirsty. So I know that water is not like as important at, as it will be as it gets warmer. Like here in the south of France, it does get uh, warm pretty like quickly and it can get uh, pretty warm here. So uh, I, in the future, I know that I will bring, have to bring water if I'm doing longer runs. So yeah, I wanted to practice running with this thing. And like you have options with this one, either you can put a bladder, a water bladder back here with water, water, or you can like put flasks uh, up here. And like I have a 50 milliliter um, soft flask that you can put here. And I did experiment with that, but I, it felt a little bit bulky. So I decided to try out my bladder for the first time. Now, in the end, I didn't end up uh, like using any water. Uh, I like I was I was tempted because uh, like I was craving a bit of water, but that was only at to like towards the end of the run, and like I felt uh, that I could finish uh, easily without it. So I actually never drank any of the water, but I think it was good practice to like to. To like bring some water with me because it does get heavier and it like does like take more energy to run with water than, than without. And this one worked super well, it was easy to fill and you could like squeeze out the air so that you had less of a like of water like jumping up and down. And like yeah, the tube works well too, uh, it didn't uh, leak any like any, anything, so yeah. A uh, good experience so far with this one and I also brought something to eat. Uh, now I'm on keto so I can't bring any of the like high carb gels or jellies or anything but I did find these like keto bars that have like two net carbs per bar and they are mainly like made of nuts and stuff um, so I brought this just in case that I really needed something to eat. Ideally I don't want to eat anything while I'm running but like, I don't want to be stuck like, I don't know, an hour and a half from home without having anything to eat. And like, I'm feeling maybe dizzy or something and I, I'm, I really need something to eat. So it's actually like important. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm, I brought this one, but I, I, didn't, I didn't eat it. As you can see, it's still here. And that's also why I decided to bring water because if, if I'm going to eat something like this uh, with nuts and stuff in it, I, I really need water. Uh, I cannot think of anything worse than sort of having to run an hour and a half with like a dry mouth. That sounds horrible. So so yeah, that's what I brought on my run. Uh, unnecessarily, it turns out, but still good practice. And it was like good, could, like I could, there's a pocket back here. I can uh, put my keys in and I could put my phone up here and stuff. So it does have its uh, advantages, even, even like without using the water or the food. Uh, so yeah, all in all, a, a great experience on Friday, I have to say, even though I was dead tired afterwards. And yeah, so like I've said earlier in this video, I have started uh, like keto. And the reason is because I have a horrible like snacking habit and I'm also sort of addicted to carbs and sugar, I feel like. And I wanted to try something different because like me just like telling myself to stop snacking isn't working. And usually I snack on like good stuff like apples and sometimes I grab like a, like a, like a nut bar or something. But like my problem is that I can't stop. Like after I have lunch, like five minutes later, I'll be thinking about what I'm going to snack on. And it's the same thing like like the whole day, I'm just thinking about what I'm going to snack on, what I'm going to eat, like what's the next thing, next thing. And then like, I don't go like an hour without eating and that's not normal. It's not good for you. Like you should let the body rest and like use the fuel that you already have in you, uh, which my body never got the chance to do. And like on keto, it's not that you don't, that you can't have snacks, but like the whole idea of keto is that you is to, that you eat your big meals and then let your body rest during like the time in between so that it has time to 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 get 
like through the food that you put in your body and then start using uh, the fat that you have stored as fuel. That's the whole point of keto. So I thought that like if I if I like stick like commit to this, I commit to these rules as well. And I'm someone who really does well with rules. And so this is actually very good for me because this week has been so so different. Like just knowing that there 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 won't be any snacks. There won't be any apples. Nothing. Even if it's healthy, no snacks. Like I have not thought about it like half as much as I had before. That, like not even like like not even like ten percent of as much as I used to. So for me, it's 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 really been working, and like focusing on three big meals with a lot of protein and fats and lower carbs has really worked for me. I really get full when I eat. I can eat a lot, and I'm someone who's already used to eating a lot of protein. I like to eat chicken breast. I like to eat lean ground beef. And, and, and all that kind of stuff. It's it's very easy for me to, to eat uh, that way. Uh, I also love eggs and you can eat a lot of eggs. So that's also perfect. And so I really felt that this has really, really suited me super well. I also feel like my stomach feels better. I'm I'm less bloated. Before I used to be super, super bloated, like midday, I like, I was, I needed uh, like pants two sizes uh, larger than in the morning. Like it was really bad and now I'm not bloated at all. So I'm very, very happy with that. And like, I just feel better. I, I, I have experienced some keto flu, but not bad at all. I have been really good at like adding salt to my food. I bought some extra electrolytes, uh, which I read is like good to to put in your body like the, maybe the first 10 days when your body's adjusting and it's been working really well. I also bought magnesium and vitamin D which uh, is very common to be deficient in and like I said I already know from my doctor that I'm deficient in vitamin D so it just gave me another reason to, to get some more vitamin D. Uh, yeah so I'm going to continue keto because it's been working so well for me. It's not something that I'm going to do forever. It's not something that I'm going to preach to anyone. I think that anyone, sh everyone should like figure out what works for them. And this, it seems, is really working for me at the moment. I Now I don't even feel that bad but like when I do my training in the morning. I already did all my training in the morning, morning fasted. So I was already used to that aspect and I'm continuing it now and in the feeling in in the beginning I I did feel the the keto flu like influencing my my workouts I did feel bad but like on Friday I that was my fifth day on keto and I had like did my run fasted and I could do 21 kilometers like without feeling like bad uh, from keto flu. So I think that was amazing. So it really shows that it, it can be done, uh, endurance training and doing keto at the same time. And it's, uh, yeah, it's really working for me. So yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm going to, to continue eating that way um, up until uh, the marathon, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.